When pests such as aphids, leaf beetles, and flower beetles are seen in a bean field, farmers are tempted to spray the field immediately with a synthetic pesticide. Spraying these kinds of pesticides seems to solve the problem because many pests are visibly killed. These kinds of pesticides can remain on plants and in the environment for several days. So, even if other pests fly into the field from elsewhere, many of these will also be killed. But repeated use of these pesticides can actually lead to lower yields. These pesticides are also costly and dangerous to people. For smallholder farmers, spraying these common synthetic pesticides may not be the best or cheapest way to control insect pests. Botanical pesticides made from common plants, sometimes considered as weeds such as neem, fevati, tephrosia, tithonia and many other kinds also can be a profitable and safe alternative for the environment and for people. This video shows why. Let us now go back into the bean crop and look around carefully. Many other living creatures also live here and on other nearby plants. We may even have thought that these creatures were also pests, but these creatures are the farmer's friends because they eat pest insects. Here is the ladybird, and this is its larva. The adult ladybirds and the larvae actively seek out and eat thousands of aphids. This one is a special kind of fly, the hoverfly, which looks something like a bee. The adult feeds on nectar and pollen only, but the larva greedily attacks and eats pests like aphids. The lacewing is another farmer's friend. The adult feeds on nectar while the larva is a fierce predator, rather like a tiny crocodile, eating aphids and other kinds of pests. Predatory spiders stalk prey such as aphids, leaf beetles, and pest caterpillars among the leaves and jump on them like leopards. Spiders also prowl on the ground, eating caterpillars and other pests that they find there. Other farmers' friends, such as parasitic wasps and predatory beetles, are also present. All these farmers' friends play a huge role in helping keep pest damage to acceptable low levels, even though people may not be aware of them at all. What happens is that when the synthetic pesticide is sprayed, pests are killed, as we saw earlier. But large numbers of farmers' friends will also be killed, as shown here. And once the farmers' friends have been killed, there can be a serious risk of more crop damage. This is because when the effect of the spray wears off, pests that come into the crop from elsewhere can breed and increase their numbers very rapidly and cause further damage to the crop. The pests breed and spread so quickly because the farmer's friends are no longer around to eat them. Though the farmer's friends do return to the field, they breed far more slowly than the pests, and there will be far too few of them to stop rapid pest increase. The farmer then has to spray more pesticides to control these new serious pest outbreaks. Spraying costs money and also continues to prevent the farmer's friends from becoming reestablished in the field and play their role to keep pests down to acceptable low levels. Botanical pesticides made from common plants such as neem, fever tea, tephrosia, and others work differently from commercial synthetic pesticides and can be very beneficial for smallholder farmers. When sprayed on the crop, these kinds of pesticides do not immediately kill the pests and the farmer will still see living pests. What happens is that the natural pesticides stops the pests from feeding 
and after a few days these pests weaken and die. But when these botanical pesticides are used, far fewer beneficial insects or farmers' friends are killed or harmed compared to using synthetic pesticides. And these plants, which often grow and flower in the margins of fields around crops, also help the farmer by supplying nectar, which is a vital source of food for the adults of important beneficial insects, such as hoverflies and less wings, and also for crop pollinators. So we see that with botanical pesticides, the farmer's friends are not eliminated from the crop. Their numbers recover quickly and they can keep on attacking and killing pests. Keep pest attack at low level and therefore reduce the likelihood of new serious pest outbreaks. Botanical pesticides are not as effective at directly killing pests and may therefore need to be applied more often compared to synthetic pesticides. But as we have seen, these botanical pesticides are less damaging to farmers' friends and because these pesticides do not remain long on plants and on soils after spraying, they do less harm to the environment and are less of a risk to smallholder farmers. Using botanical pesticides is more profitable than using synthetic pesticides. This is because harvesting, preparing and applying botanical pesticides costs less than purchasing and using synthetic pesticides, yet much the same yields can be obtained. Use of botanical pesticides is permitted in organic farming. So farmers who use botanical pesticides and who follow the other required practices can also benefit from higher prices paid for produce at organic farmers markets. There are many different plants known to have pesticidal properties. Since different kinds grow in different places, you will need to find out which ones are available in your area. Some common ones found across Africa include neem, fever tea, tephrosia, and tithonia. To learn more about botanical pesticides, see the video How to Use Botanical Pesticides or seek advice from your extension providers.